the minutes last night, obviously this being your first back-to-back -back in quite some time. What was the process leading up to today? At what point in time did you know you'd be available? Um, I mean, it was it was tough. It's one of the tougher, uh, toughest games we've had this year. Just uh, you know, coming off the road trip, and even though this was a road game, you know, just you know, coming off the road trip and um, you know, getting back, you know, late last night, but after an overtime game, and uh, it was a tough game for us. Obviously, we started off in the first half, not so playing Laker basketball. We had some good spurts, but uh, not enough. So this is one of those. Uh, uh, no scheduling conflicts, you know, in the season, and uh, definitely got the best of us tonight. I know health is obviously the main priority, but once you hear that you are all available, reps is also big for you in chemistry as a team. How much does that kind of weigh into just that opportunity you guys had tonight? Yeah, you know, um, obviously since the trade, we've been, you know, playing some good basketball. Um, but the one thing we've been lacking a little bit is just the um, the consistency of our lineups, you know, and uh, you know, obviously I've been. I was out four weeks, and you know, uh, D'Lo's have kind of been in and out. Um, but you know, for the majority of part, guys have definitely stepped up. Uh, so you know, with these last two games, you definitely you know, see if we can, you know, figure something out. You know, as far as our, our chemistry. But I think we've been at the end of the day, we've been still playing good ball. So not too much. Not I'm not thinking about that too much. Brian, you said uh, that you were going to determine your playing status once you got up and, and kind of tested your foot in the morning. When did you know for sure that you were going to play tonight? Um, about 60 on the clock, an hour before the game. How important is it for you guys to, to avoid that play in tournament? Oh, it's, I mean, listen, it is what it is. Whatever, wherever we end up, that's where we end up. Um, you know, I mean, it's been a been like four or five seasons in one for us. Um, we don't have the luxury of, uh, you know, saying this is what we need to do. This is where we're gonna be. You know, just you know, we need to still continue to play good basketball. We got another game on Friday versus a very good team. Then we end the, end the season on Sunday, um, you know, versus Utah. So uh, we see what happens. We see wherever we fall, and we'll be ready to go. What's it been like about managing the day-to-day -day grind of the season? What's the key of being able to navigate through all that? I mean, it's, I mean, I've been in this 20 years, so you know it comes with it. I already know it's going to it's going to hit at what point, and um, so it's nothing new to me. Obviously, you know, it's just all part of. All right, you mentioned the, the roster continuity. You know, the whole group didn't come together till after the trade deadline and the injuries and all that. But tonight. Even when the outcome kind of seemed decided late in the game, you all stayed out there. Is, is that like level of commitment just to getting more reps? Can, can, can that benefit you guys? Because we can, we can, um, we capture it on film and we can watch it and see some of the things we did well, some of the things we didn't do so well. Um, at this point in the season, it's not you don't have the ability to actually get on the floor and like play five on five. It's just that's literally out of the question at this point. You know, the only time you really do that if you get into a postseason and you get into you close a series out fast and you have a quite a you know while until you play the next series, then you you, you can get a little bump. But uh, other than that, uh, you know, it, you get most of your work, you know, in the film sessions and you know, on the shoot arounds and things of that nature. Ty had said before the game he wasn't going to double AD. Obviously, that took place. Y'all believe that? <laughs> Not really. No, of course. Okay, good. good. <laughs> what do you guys do when, when, when teams are going to do that to him? Um, we got to be in the right spots at the right time. And we got to, you know, put ourselves in position and put guys in position to be successful. Uh, we should go into every game with the mindset that the teams are going to double AD because of how great of a player he is. Whether it's the play-in or you guys are able to get into one of those top six seats, from a continuity, from a chemistry standpoint, what more do you need to accomplish these next two games to be ready? Uh, well, I mean, for us, it's just health. It's always about health. That's been, over the last couple of years, that's been our Achilles heel. So you know, it's all about health. If we can uh, maintain our health over the last, uh, over the next couple of games and then going into the playoffs or wherever we're at, then we'll be fine.